My name is Tamara Poles and I'm with the North Carolina Museum of Natural Sciences. I'm here to invite you to join us as we take part in the Smithsonian Science How project. During this project, you guys will be able to ask questions live to our amazing scientists during their presentations. Check out the link below to see future dates and times. Now, let's meet a scientist. Hi, my name is Bill Reynolds and I am Curator, Coordinator and Containment Director of the Arthropod Zoo here at the North Carolina Museum of Natural Sciences. In the Arthropod Zoo we maintain a large living collection of insects and allied organisms like spiders, scorpions, crabs, lobsters. In fact, 70% of the animal kingdom has an external skeleton and belongs to the group of animals we recognize and call arthropods. We maintain a large living collection. We have to feed the animals, clean the animals, check their health and welfare. We consider success when we have animals not only thrive in captivity, but when they also reproduce successfully and grow and mature. Oftentimes, we maintain up to as many as 150 different species of arthropods, most of which are native or naturalized to the southeastern U.S., and most of which can also be found right here in the state of North Carolina. Arthropods are very important organisms for planet Earth. They're important to us, they're important to all the other ecosystems of the planet, and uh, I feel that what I do on a daily basis is, is a wonderful thing because I get to share my enthusiasm, my interest with the public, and it makes my day when someone walks away with a, a different understanding and even an appreciation for not only what I do, but for the animals themselves. Why do I like insects, arthropods? Um, I grew up with a love for all plants and animals, living things, the natural world. Um, arthropods are by far the most diverse organisms on the planet, so there's always the, uh, in fact, every day see something I haven't seen before. They're beautiful, they're interesting, and they're important to the daily functions of the ecosystems on the planet. And uh, just think, every time you turn on your porch light, some small critter probably flies to it that doesn't have a name. I find it interesting that we'll never run out of new species being discovered when we're looking at insects.